Hey Gemini, what's up guys? I hope everybody is well. We're gonna go ahead and do a what's happening next reading, okay? Um, this is a timeless message. I don't know when I'm gonna release this, um, but it will be released in perfect timing, okay? So let's go ahead and dig into this. If that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and stick around. Now, if you're new to this channel, Gemini, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have any information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. If you're returning, Gemini, welcome back. I hope that you're well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Honey, I hope you're doing what's best for you. Thank you guys for all the love, all the support that y'all give, okay? Um, it means the world. It really does. All right. Thank you for all the high vibes. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see what's happening next for Gemini. And we are going to use the, uh, what is this? The wisdom of the oracle cards, I think it's called. The wisdom of the oracle cards. I'm pretty sure. All right. So what's going on for Gemini? What's happening next for Gemini? Let's get a nice good shuffle here before we actually take a card. What's happening next for Gemini? You might be uh, breaking away from some kind of original plan. Okay. You could also have a lot of things you need to complete, a lot of things you need to get into focus. You might be creating a calendar for yourself too, or going over your calendar or getting things organized. I'm getting that very heavily. Some of you guys can be doing spring cleaning too. Uh, some of y'all are like itching to do it like me. You're like, no, we need to do it early. Some of you guys might have like a lot of moisture in your house, especially if you live in an older house. Like my house is like 80 years old. So it's, it's very old and um, obvious. <laughs> right and so the windows get moisture around it especially like i've noticed in the winter time so i have to go by with a cloth and i have to rub the window sills but i really want to get them cleaned and i feel like there could be something about that of like you cleaning and detail cleaning not just surface level but like you know cleaning the baseboards and wiping down the windows and going outside and wiping the windows down and, you know, getting the window sills cleaned out and vacuuming the vents. And it's like a really like a deep clean, like a deep, deep, you cannot make this shit up. This is the time where it gets freaky day gay. Look at that. Clean it up with by the book. Y'all cannot make it up. It gets crazy sometimes. Anyways, yes, okay? Clean it up, honey. I feel like there is a need for that. I'm also seeing walnuts, walnut trees, walnut forest ham. <laughs> I'm just saying anything walnut, I know, y'all. There could be something about walnuts that are significant. Maybe black, you have black walnuts, black walnut tree. Some of y'all might move on to a property and find out there's a lot of like fruit trees or vegetable uh, something like bushes, I guess, or whatever, like you're finding out there's crops already on a land that you've bought. Like maybe the last people, they had a garden, but they let it overgrow. And as you kind of tilled through and pulled out weeds, you're seeing that there's still like lots of alive plants and there's a garden. That's for some of you, I'm hearing the secret garden. Okay guys, can we get into this now? Cause good, cause good Lord, all right, so what's going on? What's happening next for Gemini? The Secret Garden might be significant. Y'all, I freaking love that movie growing up. Okay, so we have Between Worlds. Truth be told, your truth about something is finalizing is the energy I'm getting. Like, okay, so you had a truth before. Like, you felt like you know something to be true. Well, suddenly your shift, your perception, or how you see something, or the actual facts, something is changing, or it's coming into motion, it's coming into place like a puzzle almost, and now some kind of new truth is being opened, but it's still part of the old truth, but it's almost like it's settling. So you're coming out of this shady darkness, um, like energy where things are maybe cloaked, or you're not seeing something for what it actually is, and you're stepping into some kind of clarity here. Like you're going to be seeing things a lot clearer and there is some truth that is cultivating for you. Message in a bottle. Yeah. For some of you guys, this is something from the divine that has been given to you. Like the divine has given you a download, a spiritual download, or there's some kind of clarity, a vision, maybe a dream, maybe through a tarot reading, there's been a, a strong confirmation that it was just like, you ever watch a reading where it's like you get a confirmation so strong that you're like, okay, I know that that was for me and I definitely know that I need to listen to it. There could be something like that. Maybe some of you guys go to a reader or something and you get like a strong confirmation, but I do feel that truth be told wanted to pop too. It really did just now. I feel, yes, 
because it did just want to pop again. I feel like there is going to be a truth that's coming out. Somebody could be coming to tell you a truth too. Somebody could be coming from the darkness or the shadows, I want to say. When I say the darkness, I mean out of sight. I don't necessarily mean negativity or something that's toxic. I mean like they're coming from where you weren't seeing them. They were on the sidelines or they were, again, in the darkness. Now they're coming into the light to speak to you. There could be somebody who wants to approach you. 314 could be significant. I don't know why, but it could be for somebody. Okay. Um, but yeah, somebody wants to tell you a truth or open up to you their version of a, a truth or their version of events, okay? And I feel like they're coming from another world to do this. I don't know why I'm getting that energy. That sounds kind of weird. There could be some kind of spiritual or space being that's visiting you from another world to bring you some kind of truth. Hey, if that resonates, it freaking does though, okay? But I feel like there's this energy of like, there is a messenger. For some of you, flamingos could be significant. Maybe you live in Florida or Hawaii or I don't know if there's flamingos in Hawaii actually. Maybe you live somewhere where there's flamingos, like flocks of them where they would walk around, that might be a really big signal that there is going to be a truth revealed if you see a flamingo, okay? I don't know, guys. The owl, too. The owl could be talking to you right now, and I am noticing this mask. Like, a mask could be being oh, not ripped off. It feels like this person is taking the mask off. It doesn't feel like this mask is being ripped. It feels like somebody is revealing something to you. Yeah, here and now for what's happening next. Okay, Gemini, so you're seeing the truth about something or you're coming down to a realization or a truth or clarity within a situation, within something, within yourself, whatever. This is significant, though. This feels profound. I'm not going to lie. It feels like something that needs to happen, okay? Um, we also have fives. Fives can be very significant. 14 reducing to five, 32 reducing to five, okay? I'm just saying. Um, 32 could be significant. Some of y'all could be 32. Some of y'all could be 34, or 35, I don't know, right? But here and now, I feel like you right now, again, your truth, your perception of something is in motion. It's not exactly finalized, okay? There is this energy of coming out of this gray, you know, area where things are a little shrouded or whatever, coming into this full clarity. This happens through this truth that is revealed to you, whether this is by spirit or whether this is by a physical events either way i feel like this is spiritually ordained like spirit opened this window of truth for you okay um so got you into alignment to see this situation uh work through others to bring you this message it's almost like that kind of energy like this is very divinely guided now with the here and now what's happening next is you're coming to this conclusion here and now of what you're deciding like the truth that was in motion the perception that was in motion is now actually coming into full clarity so you're here now. You are coming to a conclusion, if that makes sense. And you might not actually make any kind of moves yet within this conclusion, okay? But it's the fact that you're coming to it, all right? So I feel like you guys are seeing that there is a choice that you're needing to make for some of you guys. Um, and maybe you thought you were making the right choice. Maybe you were just walking with some kind of blindfold on though, okay? Um, but maybe there was this energy of, I thought I was making the right choice or I thought I was going in the right direction, but now a whole window of truth has been opened up to me and I find myself in the here and now with doors, a door open, a window open. It's like there is an, an, a path opening up and you needing to choose which, you know, what direction are you going to go in? And with the future and the past here, this might not necessarily be like going back to your past, although be care careful, be weary of them, those feelings you might be feeling about your ex or people who'd be springing up in your life right now because as the time of this feeling, oh my God, at the time of this filming is what I was trying to say, this is a Mercury retrograde. So that is all about, you know, things coming back. But this is more like going into old patterns, right? So this might not necessarily be like, going back to an old person, but are you going to back to an old mindset of the person that you used to be? Are you handling situations the way you used to? Or do you have an opportunity to kind of take a step back, okay? Go back and delve back into your past in some kind of way, or go into your future and see what your future has to offer, okay? There is this energy of a truth that's being revealed that's gonna help you make this decision, Gemini. That is really what I'm getting. So if that message resonates, 
that'd be great because it didn't make no fucking sense to me okay to the sea yeah it's like you're out there you're you're in this land of discovery this is like the open water here this is where spirit really speaks to you there's nothing to really cling on to or focus on it's like you have to focus on yourself because you're in the boat and you're going right so i don't know and there is this level of uncertainty with the mist Again, the mist, the fog, the smoke, the grayness, the darkness, whatever. It's the same energy that I'm getting here. There is this energy of a lack of clarity when it comes to something, okay? Um, let's go ahead and just pull a little bit of clarifying cards. We'll use the Madame and Dora Fortune cards. Please clarify uh, this between worlds a little bit more, Spirit, for what's happening next. Look at that. Temptation may lead you astray with triumph over adversity. For some of you, you are in this transition of walking through something, walking away from something. And there could be this energy of maybe you thought you were rock walking in the right direction or something like that. I feel like this truth that comes in kind of shows you where you were maybe being tempted or you were being led astray. Maybe you were letting lower vibing things uh, keep you held to something. Because there could be addictions, there could be, this could be money, sex, drugs, I mean, whatever, guys. Luxuries, right? Being able to indulge, being able to eat the things you want and do the things you want. It's like, there could be that kind of energy of maybe you're seeing that. Like, maybe you're seeing where you were kind of letting yourself be molded or there is that energy around you. But I feel like this is something that you're triumphing over. Okay? This could also just be saying there is a temptation that's going to come in. There's a, it, it, you know what I mean? Because I told you, I feel like this flamingo is a damn messenger coming from another world, coming from like, you know, that gray, foggy kind of like karmic energy here. So, yeah, this siren could just be a, a messenger of uh, tempting energy that's coming towards you for sure with that night energy, too, on the bottom of the deck, because the knights do talk about messages, opportunities, movement coming your way. Okay. You cannot make the shit up if you try. And I'm not trying to sit there and say that all love is a temptation that's going to lead you astray. That's not me, guys. I am like a hopeless romantic at heart, okay? Believe it or not. I know I'm kind of cutthroat when it comes to the love stuff. That's because I've seen some things, okay? But with the energy here, it does feel like somebody could be trying to... Look, you will receive news from afar, though. It, it feels like there could be somebody who might be... <sighs> coming in to give you an, a message of love. And maybe they're not trying to tempt you or lead you astray. Maybe there's just this energy of like a truth coming in about love. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's just say that. That there's a truth, news from afar, truth be told, coming in about love. And this might tempt you, or this could be from a tempting person, a tempting love offer. Um, or this is just... I'm going to clarify real fast what this siren is because it's, it's making me feel like several things. What is this? The king of wands. This is somebody you want. Ooh, Gemini. Don't even lie to me, please. The star energy, Aquarius, okay? It could be an Aquarius, masculine for sure. This could be a fire sign that has heavy Aquarius in their chart or vice versa. Um, this is somebody who sees you like a star in the sky, Gemini, and you see them, I feel like, or at one point anyway, you saw them the same way. I don't know if you still do, but this is somebody who sees you like a star in the sky. Um, this person's mind is on fire for you with this flame crown. I never really noticed that before. I feel like this person is on fire for you. This person could have blue eyes. This person could have brown hair, white skin, blue eyes. This person could look just like this person or the female version of this, right? Um, I get this energy here of like, yeah, somebody is very uh, sexually attracted to you or magnetized by you, drawn into you, and they are coming from another world to, I feel like, tell you this. Ooh, the plot thickens. The tea, boy. The tea, okay? That is the energy I'm getting. So the news from afar. Look, the chalice right underneath it. Okay, then. Truth be told, what is this? For what's happening next for Gemini. Yeah, you got somebody coming towards you to tell you they want that they want that thing, okay? Or this is like, um, what is that song? I guess you wonder where I've been. Yes, that is the vibes I'm getting from this. This is somebody who's definitely been on a journey and they're coming into view now. Now, whether or not you know this, maybe you don't know this person, and this is a new person that's coming in. This is like, I guess you wonder where I've been, that energy. 
of this uh, Mac Daddy Mac Mama, because that's what I'm getting off of this. This is somebody who's coming in very hot. That's why it's a siren energy. They're singing you a song. They're bringing you chocolates, right? I feel like there's this energy of like really trying to work you and not necessarily in a bad way. Like these are the things we do when we when we like people, right? We we give them things and we give them attention, but there is a love bomby type of energy and you have to be careful with that. Cause when people love bomb you, when they take it away, the drop is severe and it is fucking harsh. Okay? So, you know, sometimes we don't even we're not even aware of when we've been love bombed until after it happens. Sometimes after the dust settles, right? From the bomb. Boom! Boom, that's when we're like, oh shit, they just love bomb the hell out of me. King energy, masculine energy. This person could even be an authority figure or have some kind of um, authority within their life. Okay, I don't know, Gemini. But yeah, that's the kind of energy I'm getting, okay? So truth be told here, your luck will soon change. Did I pull this for this? I don't think I did. We're going to pull another card because I don't think I did pull that for that. Anyways... But the luck will soon change. Maybe I pulled it for this and I just put it there. But I get the energy of, yeah, this person's hoping they can change their luck when it comes to love. Maybe if you're new, maybe they feel like you're somebody that they've been searching for. If this is somebody from your past, this might person might feel like they want to change how things have went with you, okay? So take it as it resonates. And y'all, some of y'all, I know, I understand if you don't want your ex, I get it. But it's like, this is what the cards are saying and this is what this is. This doesn't necessarily have to be an ex. This is just somebody coming from a different world approaching you and they are putting it on thick, okay? They really are. The maiden, a new relationship blossoms. Like I said, winds of change, somebody's blowing in. This doesn't necessarily have to be somebody from your past too. This could be somebody who's just in that energy. I feel like they're going to be familiar to you, though. Like, I feel like this person will feel a little familiar to you, even if they're brand new. Like, you'll be like, have I dealt with you before? Or have I talked to you before? Or if they, this person might have that kind of familiar feeling that might scare you a little bit. So truth be told, what is this for Gemini? How is this relevant for Gemini for what's happening next? Truth be told, the shield. Well, that's interesting because we had your luck will soon change, which I wasn't sure if I did pull that or not. <laughs> Maybe I did, but the shield is kind of reminiscent of that, honestly. It's talking about you are safe from harm. So, you know, sometimes like when with the black cat, people will talk about you bad luck and stuff. This is talking about being protected. So I don't know. That's kind of how I connect that. But the truth of this situation is, is that you are protected. You are safe from harm, Gemini. Okay. Some of you might need to hear that because maybe when this person comes in, you're going to instantly put your boundaries up and your barriers up, whether this person is new, old, whatever. Okay. It doesn't matter. Um, you're still going to have your boundaries up. I feel like because this person is so like alluring and tempting. But I feel like, Spirit, once you know that you are safe, like you are protected, any kind of spiritual justice too that has been going on behind the scenes, you're, you're soon about to see that. That truth is about to come in uh, to clarity here is that you've been protected from something. Okay, or that karma has come through for you in some way. I'm getting that very strongly, Gemini, okay? But I feel like this really is talking about this situation here. I feel like Spirit wants you to know that you are safe from harm. Whether or not you choose to indulge this, whether or not this is somebody from your past, whether or not this is something that even goes anywhere, it doesn't matter. Spirit just wants you to know that you are protected, you are safe from harm. I'm getting Irish energy, I'm getting German energy. Um, I'm getting definitely African energy, like not like, for, like actually from Africa, okay, like from the continent Africa. I'm getting that energy, okay. I don't know why, but that's just what I'm getting. What else do we have here? Okay, we have the uh, Wyvern. Your secrets are safe. That's what I'm saying, Gemini. It's like spirit. Maybe and it's and maybe it's not necessarily secrets, right? Like. Maybe it's just like you are safe. Your essence is safe. You're going to be okay. This isn't like some kind of trick or something to sabotage you. Good fortune and friendship. This could be even somebody who could be a friend for you. I don't know. I feel like this could be a new lover that's coming in hot and they kind of freak you out a little bit. I'm getting that for some of you guys. Like they freak you out a little bit. For some of y'all, this is somebody coming back from the past. But I feel like that would only resonate if that's something that you're truly open to. So if it's not, you don't need to tell everybody that you're not wanting your past. We get it, honey. Most of us don't either, okay? But I feel like for those of you that are open to it, that person might be coming back. I am getting that energy very strongly, okay? Like very, very strongly. Yeah, the maiden. 
a new relationship blossoms. It came back out. I don't know, Gemini. I feel like that's the truth that's going to be revealed to you. Like somebody wants to be with you and they're going to tell you that. They're going to come reveal their feelings. They're going to shoot their shot. They're going to light their torch. I don't know. It could be this King of Wands or you could be this King of Wands and they are looking at you like that. Look at her. Look at her. She, look at her. She's looking at him. I don't know. There could be, for some of my masculines, yes, there could be a feminine energy that just sits there like, oh, but she's not going to chase. She's not going to pursue because the feminine, that's not what maybe she feels like the feminine should do. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Here and now, how is this relevant for what's happening next for Gemini? I feel like this is where you come to this stance, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the energy I was getting. I feel like y'all hear the squeaky chair. You need to do something with this thing. You need to get a new chair <laughs> or something. But anyways, yeah. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm getting here. Yes, water. Emotions are at their peak here on the bottom of the deck because that's exactly what I was talking about. Water sign too could be significant, especially with that siren. I don't know why I didn't pick that up, but okay. Um, I feel like you find yourself at this point in time after this person shows up, you find yourself where you're kind of like, okay, now I need to make a decision. I need to choose what I want to do because the truth has been revealed to me. I see that I have emotions for somebody or I see that somebody has emotions for me. Okay, that's great. Like, where do we go from here? What do I do now? Um, yeah, I feel like for some of you, even though you're feeling that water energy that we just saw, emotions are at their peak. I feel like a lot of you with this earth energy, could be an earth sign, you are wanting to utilize logic, reason, and common sense. You're not just wanting to let, you know, your wits get you, okay? You really want to make a clear decision. You don't want to run away from somebody or run away from love, but you also don't want to allow yourself to just throw all your boundaries to the wind, okay? So there is this energy of trying to find a healthy balance, and that's why you are in the middle here of where am I at? versus my past versus my future this kind of low-key turned into a love reading guys so if this isn't your vibe i don't know what to say but that's kind of the energy that came out now i'm going to clarify just a couple things here we kind of already clarified who this person is but let's get a little bit more energy on this uh, king of wands here for gemini this person it kind of puts you up on a pedestal or um has some kind of like idealistic view of you maybe they don't see you clearly maybe this is somebody who watches you from afar this is somebody who has to travel from a different world to see you gemini so maybe they're just kind of like they've never seen it they're an alien and they ain't never seen a human before or they're a human and they've never seen an alien before right they're a human they've never seen a mermaid and they're just like mystified and they just they feel like you're just magical like everything you do is magical right <laughs> That's what I'm getting, but it's like you're human and there's, you have the not so great aspects of yourself and things can be a little bit deeper and it's like, so this person might kind of have some kind of fantasy built up about you. Now, a little bit of what we need to know about this person, this person is in decision mode right now, okay? Right now, right now, as you're listening to this reading, this person is in decision mode, feeling things out with the page of cups, listening to their emotions. This person is deep in their emotions. And you know, the retrograde probably is helping that, plus the holidays, right? And you know, things like that. It kind of put people in their feels. And I feel like this person is in their feels and they are trying to decide what choice they need to make to manifest this because this is three wands. The king plus the two is the three, right? And this is a card three. So we are manifesting and I feel like this person does want to try to manifest you in, Gemini, or find a way to manifest you towards them. So that's what you need to know about this person. They are in the middle of a decision mode right now. They are seeing things clearly for, I'm hearing, the first time in their life. Okay. I didn't think it was that deep, but maybe it is. Shit, I don't know. I don't know what you did to them. You put it on them, Gemini, okay? Um, but they're seeing things clearly for some of them for maybe the first time in their life, okay? Um about the king the crown the crown this person does have some kind of stature or there is some kind of chosen energy about this person there just is okay whether that or not they've always lived that life well hey i haven't either so you know we all kind of we, we ebb and flow here but there is that energy of like um they're seeing things really clear like their dome has been busted wide open for lack of a better word i don't normally talk like that but that's the energy i'm getting 
This person could have a beard too, like a very heavy beard. The star energy too. I feel like they see you as like a guiding light or they have a lot of hope for you or maybe they watch you from afar, Gemini. Maybe they stalk your socials. I don't know. There's this energy of really wishing and hoping for you and, um, you know, being magnetized. Like he looks like damn in love here. What is wrong with this guy? I don't know. There's this energy here of that. But in the world, okay. Truth, truth be told, what is this? Let's this truth be told. What truth is coming towards Gemini? Let's ask that first, right? Like, what truth is coming towards Gemini? Okay. We have, it's the true, true, whatever it is, it's something that you can believe, right? For some of you guys, there's going to be some kind of information that's coming out with this Knight of Swords. Um, yeah. Clarity or information. Now, the Knight of Swords can sometimes be aggressive. So this could be a rumor that's coming out, or this could be a harsh truth even, or there with this double-headed, um, double-headed horse here there could be this energy of like there's two different stories or there's two different sides to see something i don't know it's like something could be rectifying itself as well some of you guys this is going to be an ancestor that's going to give you this truth or something about this knight being uh having his helmet on and being masked there's some the kind of energy of like maybe this comes from an unknown source or something um, or this comes from like a spiritual source for some of you guys. Yeah, for some of you guys, you're going to get a harsh truth about somebody. What is this? What is this? This truth that's coming out. And maybe that's why this is saying this, right? Like you are protected. A new relationship blossoms. Like maybe there's this energy of like you hear something that allows you to let go. Like, for some of you guys, what is this? I feel like for some of y'all, y'all might be hearing, like, some gossip or, like, some rumors, too, is what I'm getting. The emperor came out with the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. For some, I was running through the sticks with my woes. That's what they just said. <laughs> my guys are so freaking funny. Oh, my God. So Drake is a Scorpio. This could be involving a Scorpio, right? For Or this is an Aries energy too, but we've already been talking about the signs. There could be somebody who's coming to tell you they're woes. Yes. There is somebody, there could be somebody who's coming to reveal themselves that it was them that did this deceitful thing or to admit that they've been kind of manipulative or they've been a liar or they've been self-absorbed, whatever it was. Like, I feel like somebody is going to be taking accountability for some actions. Now, that is not for everybody. And tarot is on a gradient, so y'all have to really make it fit how it fits sometimes, okay? If you know damn well that that's not the energy of your person, then you know that that's not that. What this is probably saying is that there's going to be some kind of truth, harsh truth that's revealed about this emperor energy. But what this is ultimately going to do is lead you towards your new emperor, right? Somebody who is going to treat you properly because I do get for some of you guys, somebody coming in to reveal that they have been, <clears throat> to reveal that they know that you know that they're a liar, right? To, to reveal that they know that they dropped the ball with you. Like somebody wants to take accountability, I feel like. That's going to shock you a little bit. And I feel like your guard is going to be up against this person. But that could be this person trying to open up a new part of your connection. Now, others of you, like I said, this is just a harsh truth coming out about something that's going to help you, you know, put the, almost the final nail in the coffin is the energy I'm getting. Where you can move forward from something and you can find uh, whatever is meant for you, Gemini. Okay? So take that as it resonates. Whew, lordy, that is a lot though. Because I don't feel like it's going to be the same for everybody. Yeah, either way, you're getting your wish fulfillment though. That's what Spirit is saying here. Like with this Nine of Cups, like either way, you are getting what you want. So you're either getting closure, even if it's harsh, to be able to move forward, right? Or this person is coming in and giving you that, what you want for some of you guys, what you've always wanted was, which is this person that come in and tell you that they know they did this, they know they did that, and they're going to try to change. That's as simple as it is. That's what some of you guys have just wanted. So I don't know, but either way, what Spirit is saying is y'all are getting what you want. Like you are, okay? Okay, Gemini, the here and now, the hand of fate is stepping in. Okay? Three of swords, and it really feels like it wants to be reversed, okay? I feel like 
the hand of fate is stepping in to again release you from some kind of pain or purgatory emotional purgatory that you've been caught up in gemini for some of you that is the energy that i'm getting and it could be with this person if this person is coming in to reveal this truth to you yeah this is what's almost like helping heal this wound is the energy I'm getting with that three of swords reverse. So something is stepping in to kind of cause some kind of um, healing for you so you can move forward. I'm getting that very strongly with the eight of cups on the bottom of the deck. You might have felt very conflicted, like stuck, like where you weren't able to move forward. And I feel like you do want to utilize logic and reason, like when you're making this choice to move forward. You don't want to feel like you're stuck or feel like you don't have a choice, okay? And a lot of you might be feeling very anxious about this. But I feel like you're going to make the choice that's aligned with your heart. I feel like you're going to make the choice that is aligned with where your soul is calling you. Gemini, we have the world on the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're going to follow your intuition, even though that might not feel like that's what you should logically do. That is like what you're going to do, though. And that is the most logical for, thing for you to do is follow where you're being guided inside. So if something is repelling you and making you feel like you can't trust it, you don't want to be around it, then you're not going to. And you're just going to open yourself up and get yourself in alignment for the things that, yes, exactly. You're just going to manifest the things that you can commit yourself to, right? That's what this energy is saying, Gemini. Okay, hon, I do hope that this reading, this reading, oh my Lord, I hope that this reading helped. I hope it resonated. I hope it did something and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.